and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how I make yarn out of plastic grocery bags. And today I'm going to use Winn-Dixie grocery bags. And I first start by smoothing it out really nicely as you see I'm doing here. I just make sure it's kind of even, make sure there's not too many um, crinkles that can make my cutting uneven. And now I'm going to start cutting the bottom off. And I'm going to use scissors. You get a nice big pair of Sharp scissors would work, craft scissors, whatever you have. Preferably not too small. And then you just start cutting like an inch from the bottom and cut that little crease part off. And I'm showing you the excess. And now I'm going to remove the flaps from the side. These are like little hidden things that can make your yarn uneven. So you just wanna take those out and cut them flat. Just doing that. Doing the other side. Make sure it's nice and even so your yarn doesn't end up wonky. And now I'm going to cut off the top. You want to cut right under the handle as I'm showing you here. And you can't really make yarn out of this but I do save my scraps and I use them as stuffing for some projects that doesn't really need my stuffing because this is obviously going to be crinkly and noisy but I do like to reuse them. I usually make this yarn for recycling purposes. And now you're going to want to fold your piece in half. Smooth it out again and fold it right in half. And this is so we can begin cutting out the strips for the yarn. So you just make it sure it's nice and even, flatten it out. This is kind of ASMR if you listen close enough to me cutting it. All the cranklies sound pretty good. So I'm just cutting strips about mm, three fourths of an inch to an inch wide. You can choose the length of your choosing, but try to make them pretty even. If they're a little wonky, it won't really matter in the end. I haven't really seen much of a difference if I make them a little bit smaller or bigger than the other pieces, so you don't really have to worry about that. But do try to stick to one size if you can. part takes a little bit. Just cutting up all the strips. Imagine doing this like 40 times. This takes me a long time. Well, obviously I'm being slower so I can show you guys what I'm doing, but it still takes a while. But I think it ends up pretty cool anyway, so. Just cutting, cutting, ASMR. Nearing the end. This is my first voice ever. Can you guys tell? I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm trying to hurry up and tell you guys what's going on, and then I just run out of. Okay, on to the next step. Gather up your strips. You have all your strips. And I'm going to show you how to connect them together. So, this is kind of like the lesson they teach you whenever you're tying your shoes, learning how to tie your shoes. Like, you do the loop-de-loop -loop, then pull thing. That's what you do, basically. You put the loop through the loop. So these strips make loops, and then you put the loop, get your hand, as I'm showing you here, get the loop, and pull the other end of the same loop together. And you make a knot. You wanna make sure the knot is pretty, see, really tiny. So it's not very noticeable in your work, whatever you're making it with. I usually like to make reusable bags with my plastic bag yarn thing. Making bags out of bags is kind of ironic, but it's kind of cool. So I'm just showing you over and over the loop, other end of the loop, and then you pull it to make a knot. Um, it's not really super hard, but it can be tricky to learn in the beginning if you've never done this sort of thing. But yeah, you just keep connecting each loop to each loop. And later on, I'll show you how to connect um, new balls of yarn to like more yarn and to your current work in progress if you run out of yarn, etc. Which you always end up doing because these bags take like a thousand million bags. I've used so many bags so far and it's like, <laughs> I'll show you at the end what it looks like. It's pretty ridiculous, but yep, just keep looping them through. A lengthy process but you'll get through it 
keep looping. It's kind of mindless to do if you play like music or like Netflix in the background and you just watch that while you loop in. Because you don't really have to think about it after you get the hang of it. I actually found out how to do this from another YouTube video. I do it a bit different than her though. I don't really do it as precisely. I'm just kind of haphazardly chopping away compared to her, but I'll link her in the description. So you guys can watch her video if you want a more, I guess, less amateurish video. <laughs> Cause I still don't know basically what I'm doing. I've never made really videos before, but this is like the third ever video I'm recording, like in life, I guess. But I'm probably not gonna release this immediately. But yeah, I keep looping, just looping. I should probably speed this up, but I don't really know how to do that yet. So I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to listen to me ramble for like nine minutes. <laughs> sorry, you guys. I hope you can still hear like the sound of the yarn. Oh, okay, now I'm winding it up. Winding up my loops on my hand to make like a ball of yarn. Like it in a ball. You know, like you would like I guess regular yarn. I don't really know how to describe winding up a ball of yarn. Wrap it around your fingers so it resembles a sphere. See? It's really tiny. That's one bag's worth of yarn. And... Yeah! That's all the scraps I have left over for one bag. I just saved those, like I said before. And yeah, that's... And now I'm going to show you how to connect a ball of yarn to more um, loops. And you just do it like that. Put the whole bowl, whole bowl, whole ball of yarn through the loop. And then just wind it around the new yarn, wind it around the old ball of yarn to make one huge ball of plastic bag yarn. You get a drink. Just winding, winding up the little ball. I'm just gonna be silent so you guys can the ASMR experience. There you go, there's the full ball of yarn. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect that ball of yarn into a current work in progress. This is the bag I was telling you guys about. There's about 60 bags in and this just, it's not even beginning to build it. I mean, it is, but it's just taking a while. I guess I'm just whining. But there you go, see? Put the ball through the ball, and now you have a connected ball of yarn to your work in progress. Alright, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned how to make yarn out of plastic grocery bags, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.